Who has made you cry the most? Who has the nicest body? Who is the funniest? Oh, nice. Who has cheated on you? <laughs> Who was the biggest liar? <laughs> <laughs> Who was the best kisser? loved you the most who has made you cry the that's disrespectful that's disrespectful like why would you even do the video with your boyfriend if you know you just gonna be talking about your ex like that This lady on Reddit said that she married her husband and found out that he don't wipe his ass after he... And in the story, she was like, he was on the couch and she had gave him some ba da pop 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 And I'm like, your face is that close to his ass and you ain't smell boo-boo. But anyways, so she was like, you know, she ba da ba bop Then he got up off the couch and it was a boo-boo saying. And while I'm reading this lady's story, at no point did I fucking have any sympathy for her. Because how you sit up and marry somebody and not know that they wasn't washing their ass? Like, and basically she said when she brought it up to her husband, that he said that it was gay for men to put anything in between their butt. And this is like, first of all, how you marry somebody and not know that they not washing their ass? But second of all, I would have been like, you telling me that it's gay to wash your ass, but you don't think that it's gay to have a big ass turd sitting in between your boots. <laughs> ah, hey, bro. Any man that's super sensitive to like gay stuff, I'm a body boy. I'm on the low. Any any dude that's hyper homophobic, he on the low. You not wiping your ass, cause what? You don't want to accidentally. Tickle your booty hole? You you scared you like it? That boy, he, he, he an undercover agent. I'm telling you. He an undercover agent. What do you want me to say, bitch? <laughs> Go all out. But, okay, uh, on my birthday, my birthday is Memorial Day weekend. Uh -huh. On my birthday, I've seen them all at Dre's, like this one team. Okay. She's so shy. It's just so cute, <laughs> I know, baby. I like it. And, I don't know, I was getting in a hotel room they all pulled up and i sucked their but dick. then like down the whole team seven seven did she just say she sucks seven did she just say she sucks seven no she didn't no she did not no, she did not. You know what, man? Um, it. First of all, why would you come out here and tell us that? Like, what is the point of telling us that? What? I'm gonna try my new thing, bro. Because this, 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 this just, I, I just don't, I. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So my bad, y'all. I bought this uh, yesterday. I went to pick my son up. And, um, it's like you melt the candles and it's supposed to, you know, it, it's a nice, it's, it's nice. We just going to burn this. I, I just wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting none of that, bro. Seven at the same time, bro. I just hope it don't get worse. Cause that's bad. Basketball players in a row. Mm -hmm. How was that? <laughs> I was like, I didn't them what happened to the nuts? Swallowed. All of them. Yeah. Oh my you know, god! You have like a, a weird reaction in your stomach or anything? No, no, I passed this out. That sounds so fun. You're, you're almost making it sound like you were too fucked up to be sucking seven. And also, you were getting fucked by somebody else right before this. Yeah, they walked in <laughs> mid me getting. They walked the in. Where were you? In the hotel room. So I was 
seen like someone that works with the team, and I know, I know that team because I've hooked up with them before. But they all pulled up. No, not the whole team. Like okay. a few of them, they all just pulled up. They knew I was in there, and they were like, "Let's get lit," and they were just sitting around the bed, and they just rotated. Hey, yo, <laughs> that's not real. Get really close, Victor. <laughs> that is not real, bro. I didn't even know they was like, accepting BBLs in the Asian community. I did not know the Ming Dynasty was, was accepting BBLs, bro. That's that's crazy. I've dealt with a, um, an Asian chick before. The way their parents are strict. They're very strict. Cause this is why you get restraining on this one. Cause I got the BMW. Cut my shit. I'm the dead homies. Like, don't no left a letter. And shit. The fuck? Yo, look at my. Yo, he said, look at my. He said, look at my. He said, mama. I'm the dead homies. Look at myself. Uh, then I'm between love and hate. She done put something in it. Man, I'm out. Cause I'm out. All right, so boom. Yo, I ain't really got that, you feel me? I ain't got that letter no more. I threw that away. I ain't a long cat. But you feel me? Basically, the letter was saying, she was like, oh, you're a lame and all that, you feel me? It was no way you thought you was going to me like that and just stop talking to me. Like, you feel me? I'm not that type of bitch. You feel me? Me and my sister's going to jump you, you bum ass. You're like, all this extra shit, you feel me? <laughs> just violate the cuz. Like, you feel me? I ain't violate. Her creating, you feel me? The in the one bedroom with eight people on rock. I could have violated that little ass playpen, my on the dead homies. I ain't even do that. Like, you feel me? Hey, and I know y'all probably thinking, you feel me? Oh, he a fuck me. All this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, you feel me? Cause I don't get no fuck on the hood. You feel me? <laughs> but look though, my. I was supposed to turn that car in the next day, my. Like, yo, this is. Had to be plotting on me, cuz, like, bro, I was about to turn that bitch and get a whole nother whip. Like, I'm still getting another whip. But, cuz, I just had to turn that bitch in, cuz, this bitch rattled my shit. Like, this bitch really had a graffiti contest on my fucking car. Like, that bitch really was just, like, I don't even know what the fuck, you feel me? It ain't even my fault. And she told me, like, she ain't want nothing, you feel me? She's one of the good night. You feel me on the dead homies? Like, you know, it's what I'm here for. Like, you feel me? It's like, man, that, bro, my whole car was fucked up on a rock. I feel bad for his situation, but I feel as though, uh, more importantly, my boy need to read a book. Because that sounds like a whole different language. I'm be real, bro. Need to read a book, my boy. My wife and I only see each other on weekends for like 30 years. Maybe that's why we're so happy everybody says that. I'm just such a workaholic that between working the graveyard shift as a doorman for 30 years, 27 years in the funeral business, and I only see my wife Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and whatever vacation time I can get, and a couple of sick days I'll take here and there, which is rare. But I live in the Bronx, and I have a roommate, and he's a doorman. He works on 33rd in Madison, does the graveyard shift too. Oh, he's a doorman for probably 25 plus years. I've had three different roommates, and every one of them were guys I grew up with that got separated and then went on to get divorced and in conversation they're like I don't know what to do like I'm leaving my wife I gotta find a place to live and I'd be like I live alone I'm never home what shift do you work come on you can live at my house pay the maintenance that's all I'll charge you and that's how it's been easy easy yeah I ain't gonna lie bro that's a little suspicious but I, I feel as though it's some skeletons in your closet, my boy. He might he might be an undercover agent as well. He might be crossing the street. You feel me? He might be walking on the other side of the street. Y'all tell me. Something, something ain't sitting right. Something ain't sitting right. When there's a breakup, 
it's exceedingly hard, especially if the person is young. Why? Because the relationship represents the whole future. They know there are other people, but it sort of feels like the whole world is, is shutting down. The brain has to think that the person is gone in time and space. And this has become much harder with social media, right? Because people can check up on people, they can hear from people. In the old days, like when I was growing up, you just like took the phone off the hook or you, you diverted your attention. Now we are constantly renewing that the person is still there. And so love and the loss of love and the death grief are virtually identical. It's that motivational state. And this is why it's so hard to not reach out to somebody that you really miss and want back. I saw a study last week that had researchers asking participants to rate emotional and physical pain of a breakup. They found that women tend to be more negatively affected by breakups, reporting high levels of both physical and emotional pain. But while breakups hit women the hardest, they tended to recover more fully. Men, on the other hand, rarely fully recovered. I thought that was very interesting. I wasn't too sure what that meant. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it also rings true with my, my experience and my observations. It's, I mean, this could relate to a number of things. And here I'm painting with a broad brush, right? My wife now. My wife now. We broke up a few times. The last time we broke up was her junior year, the beginning of her junior year of college. And I remember how that felt. I still haven't fully gotten over that breakup. This is, this is, this is me speaking my truth. Even though we are together, I still haven't fully gotten over that breakup. Because I, I felt as though she betrayed me. It's better than it was before. Because when we had first got back together, bro, you know, we got to talking and stuff. And I found certain things out. I mean, you know, I shouldn't have asked certain questions. So I found certain things out, bro. And I was waking up. And, like, I was having nightmares, dog. I was waking up, bro. And I was so I was waking up so angry that I would have to get up, leave the house, go for a walk. Because when, once you start, you know, once you and your girl break up, bro, you start imagining stuff. But I, I didn't have to imagine. We had a conversation. And I found out. <laughs> I found out. And it, this is my truth, bro. This is my truth. I, I, can, I can talk about it now. My advice to men, bro. My advice to a man. I don't know how old majority of y'all are that are subscribed to me. But if you're in college and you and your girlfriend break up in college, do not take her back. Your girl needs at least two to three dick intakes before she knows you what she want. I'm going to be real with you. I took her virginity in high school. That's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Taking virginities and getting in relationships with the females that you take the virginity with, the virginity of, that's a recipe for disaster. I'm letting you know right now, bro. So I was her first. He went into college, and what happened was supposed to happen. Now, technically, maybe I shouldn't have took her back. But I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. I'm, tell I'm letting you know right now. Do not take your girl back. It took me a lot to get over all that shit. I love her to death now. We happy, you feel me? But it took me a lot to get to where we at right now. This is my take on the whole situation. When you get in a relationship, you cannot fully give yourself to that person. You have to save a part of yourself to recover just in case the relationship ends. You have to. You have to because if you don't, if you don't prepare yourself for when that relationship ends... You're going to be in a messed up predicament. Like, a lot of times when a relationship ends, bro, the reason why it might seem like your woman got over it faster than you is because she had already broken up with you while y'all were together, technically. She was already single. She, I ain't going to say she was already single, but she already went through the hurt process. So when she broke up with you, Officially, she been done. She has been done. Men don't think like that. A lot of men don't think like that, bro. Like, a man would literally be done with a relationship and keep shorty around because he don't want nobody else to, to have her. You might not be feeling it. The pussy might be good, but everything else might be trash. That's the only reason you would hold on to a relationship because... You don't, you don't want her to do to somebody else what she's doing to you. Even though you really don't like her like that. 
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the video. Um, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can buy these candle holders. She also sells the wax that you put in there and you melt. This smells so good. Uh, this is pumpkin pecan waffles. And they're shaped like waffles. Um, yeah, man. I'm not getting paid off of this. This is literally me just supporting a black business. One of the kids who go to school with my son, his mother make these. And, you know, I just want to support a black business. So I'll leave the link. Y'all can buy some. They smell really good. Like, <laughs> they smell really good. I'm not capping. They smell really good. All right. I'll holla at you.